Um, so everything has come together. And again, this is integrated into the kitchen, living room, integrated into one. You can see here, nice open concept. Now, this being uh, egress is there for 5% and egress. So it serves a dual purpose. And again, as I mentioned in the previous video, we tend to try and put this egress window in the kitchen living room area open concept to bring in more natural light and this is a second window more natural light and helping with the five percent rule as well all right i'm here at uh, for another update on this construction momentum project Again, construction momentum where we are taking care of the entire rental front to back on behalf of our clients. This is a conversion project with a garden suite uh, potential down the road. And I'll show you the backyard again in this video. This one is you know, such an exceptional backyard. Uh, it's, it's hard not to appreciate the potential that it has in terms of that ADU. We are probably 85, 90% done this one. Um, so the progress in between this and the last video isn't huge, but worth looking at just to see, you know, the kind of granular updates in terms of how these projects go. For those of you who are new, this will be a chance to see, you know, exactly how does it progress from one stage to the next. And then we'll do a final video at the end so you can see the finished product too. All right, let me turn the camera around and we'll get right to it. Okay, we're in the basement unit. You can see um, the stairs are in. Um, this is, you know, the rough staircase, right? You can see the Aspenite rise, the spruce run. And this will all be finished uh, to be nice. Uh, we'll put, you know, a distinct kind of rise on there and then the vinyl run on it, make it nice and neat and brand new. So we'll walk through here. Again, this property, you can see here, we used to have a fuse panel. We've dropped in the new panel. We'll have a separate one upstairs. You can also see the waterproofing here. You can kind of get a glimpse here at how the waterproofing is fastened to the wall. Yeah, this will be one of the bedrooms. Um, nice oversized bedroom. I'm standing in what will be um, the mechanical room um, again with the panel. You got a closet right over here. Got our 5% uh, met right there. If you're wondering what that 5% is, just to clarify, 5% for any given room, we need to um, take the square footage of the floor space and have 5% in window pane of that square footage. Um, so if you've got 100 square feet, you need five square feet of window in that room in order to meet code. That's what the 5% rule is. Um, so we've got a walk-in closet right here, which is awesome. In this bedroom, we just came out of the second bedroom downstairs, um, nice and big. And again, two bedroom maximum in, uh, in Peterborough. We've got the kitchen all set. Got some appliances already being installed. We've got a stainless here, solid surface quartz countertop, uh, inlaid double sink. Um, so everything has come together. And again, this is integrated into the kitchen, living room, integrated into one. You can see here, nice open concept. Now this being uh, egress is there for 5% and egress. So it serves a dual purpose and again, as I mentioned in the previous video, we tend to try and put this egress window in the kitchen living room area, open concept to bring in more natural light. And this is a second window, more natural light and helping with the 5% rule as well. Okay, so we've got our electrical roughed in. Uh, we don't have the switches and plugs in yet, which is why you see the uh, trouble lights in place. We've got the uh, rock board, um, the cement board sitting here ready for tile, quartz countertop ready here and the same luxury plank vinyl throughout. Okay, that's a quick update on the basement. And let me take you upstairs and I'll give you an update there as well. All right, just check out the size of this backyard. I mean, it's hard to capture in video, but it is just massive. Um, tons and tons and tons, way, way more room than you'd need for an ADU, a good sized ADU. Um, and this, just for um, educational purposes, this is the weeping tile, big O pipe. Those two terms are synonymous. This tile is perforated on top, solid on the bottom, so water comes in the top and then flows out to a sump pump where it can be disposed of and routed properly. So just a quick note on that, because um, sometimes it's hard to see given, depending on when we're giving our update, it's hard to see the actual big O and weeping tile. All right, let me take you upstairs. All right, let me give you a view of the upstairs here. So 
This, I'm standing back in the corner of the living area so you can see the open concept uh, kitchen and living room here. So we're still, you know, like I said, 85, 90% of the way there, but you can now a little more clearly see the kitchen. Again, same finishes, quartz countertop, luxury blank, uh, plank vinyl, um, double sink, the same kind of uh, concept up and down. So this gives you a pretty good view of the open concept um, kitchen and living room. And again, just quickly, um, bedroom number three. Okay. Everything set to go. Linen closet right here. Master bedroom. Double closet, so lots of closet space. That's one of the keys in these is making the best use of the space possible. In the end, the, we've got um, a product on the market that customers want to consume. We want our product to be in demand. We want our customers to be very happy when they're here. Again, just a quick view of the backyard. There's that weeping tile that I spoke of. Okay, so that customers being happy is accomplished by good products in good areas and very functional spaces. So again, here we have a new tub, new toilet, new sink, solid surface, vinyl floor, everything uh, basically brand new, even on the upper floor. Even though it's not a full gut, everything is essentially brand new. The look and feel of the entire place um, feels like a new build, just like the basement. So that's this. We'll do one more update on this one with the finished product. Thanks for watching. After years of training, consulting, and strategizing with investors, one thing becomes very, very clear, and that is there's a one-to-one -one correlation between clarity and focus and results. For investors who have clarity and focus, their results are not only faster, but they're better. And for those who don't have clarity and focus, they struggle. They struggle to produce results. They struggle to make steps toward what they're trying to achieve because what they're trying to achieve isn't crystal clear for them. If you don't have that clarity and focus today, reach out. We can help. We have the tools and the systems to be able to flesh out those goals, flesh out that clarity of market and strategy and the approach to get you from point A to point B faster in the most expedited path possible. And where we don't have the tools, we have developed strategic partnerships with people that we're happy to introduce you to, to help gain clarity and focus. That is the number one linchpin that we see with investors. And thank you for watching. Some people have reached out in appreciation of the content and asked how they can support. There's a very simple mechanism to be able to do that. If you would like, share this video, subscribe to the YouTube channel. These are all things that help us propagate our content, help get our content out to more investors, and we would be hugely appreciative of that. Thanks again for watching.